All right, people, we are finally here. And if you follow me here from TikTok, the first thing I want to say is thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for taking a shot on this. And I'm really hoping that I can deliver some content to you guys that's going to keep you engaged and keep you interested. But in terms of this first video, the thing that I really wanted to do is to kind of set the stage for exactly how my best martial artist rankings is going to work in terms of what factors I'm going to be taking into account. The primary reason for this is that not all feats should be judged as equal. For example, certain types of engagement, certain battles may not have the same stakes and because they don't have the same stakes, the characters may not put the same type of effort into success in the combat. That being said, I think I've come up with a pretty definitive way where I can judge each of the individual battles that the characters find themselves in. For example, lowest on my list of types of combat will be sparring matches. Despite the fact that sparring matches are a fantastic demonstration of skill, they're not serious. There's no real intention behind the battle and therefore we don't know if this is the full extent of the character's power. The next step above that is what you see most common, a regular fight. In these situations, the characters do have intentions. They are trying to stop somebody. However, what you generally do not see in this is a willingness to maim the other character, a willingness to kill. And this is par for the course for most heroes when they engage in the fight. They're not trying to destroy the other person, but they have made the determination that this person does need to be stopped by physical force. Now, next on the tier is the second most valuable type of engagement, a slobber knocker. In these situations, characters are typically consumed by rage, or there's been a situation that's occurred that's pushing them past their normal rules of engagement. You generally see this when characters are under mind control or have come in contact with their arch nemesis. But what's most important to understand is in these moments, characters generally are using nearly 100% of their skill set. And above that, the most valuable type of engagement for determining a person's skill, a death battle. Given that generally heroes have a code against killing, this is the most rare type of engagement, but it does happen in comic books. As such, heroes put no excuses, no limitations on the skill sets and techniques they're willing to use. They're going to stop the person by any means necessary. I judge this to be the most valuable because this is the truest demonstration of what the character is capable of. Now, the other thing I'm going to be judging is the quality of the opponent that the character is facing. The opponent can either be inferior, similar, or physically superior. Now, obviously, the most valuable type of opponent would be one that's physically superior. Damaging somebody like this would take a level of skill that surpasses even the greatest martial artist. Now, greater still in terms of determining who the top martial artists are is any death match that involves a superior opponent. I judge this situation to be the greatest expression of skill we would be able to see in any given comic book. Now, what we get most often and what I judge to be the second most valuable thing is a situation in which two characters are physically equal. Outside factors withstanding, the only thing that's going to separate these two characters in a situation like this is who is the more skilled combatant. And the lowest value on my list for determining quality of opponent is those characters that are physically inferior. Now, we see this a lot when we're determining the baseline of how good a character is. When you see them face off against fodder opponents such as thugs, goons, or mass ninjas. And while these are excellent displays of skill for the character, there's no real pressure for the martial artist to overcome. There's no real sense of danger. Instead, these are usually moments given to us by the artist to show us that the character is significantly above average or why they are a hero. And that's it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell icon so you can get the notifications and I'll catch you guys in the next one.